Hey there. I mean, how are you feeling? You got John Riggs here. <laughs> I'm trying to clean these cards here. I'm gonna get my stuff out of the way. Hold on. I probably could have planned this better. There's my BAP, my big ass pop. Got I have that. Um, turn this your way too, I guess. Never mind that. That's just what it looks like. Um, the only reason why I use a Game Genie through a top loader is because it's easier for me to take in and out cards, um, especially for my girls who play it. So, obviously not working. A few ways to clean cards. I'm talking about cleaning the pins, not the outside so much. Um, but you want to clean it so it works. Of course, the first test. I know you're not supposed to do that. I do it anyway. See if that worked. It didn't work. Sometimes it does. I think it's just the art of taking it out and put a bingo back in. Not the blowing into it. Um, you can use the Q-tip. I usually don't do this, but the Q-tip and rubbing alcohol idea. But I do want to show you... Well, we're going to try this one first. These are cool. These are called 1-Up cards. They're available. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, these way surpass this. Because it's this, and it comes with its own solution. Now, this is mostly alcohol. Um, there's a fluid side. There's a dry side obviously. And easily enough, you get the fluid side wet just a little bit. Not too bad. You don't have to soak it up or anything like that. Alright. We're going to try this first. Fluid side. Fits right in there. Perfect style. Perfect length. Oh, it's already getting pretty dirty there. Good to go there. There's a dry side. That buffs it out. Come on. We're just going to try this really quick. See if that got the job done. Now this card may actually not work at all. So, if it works, great. If not, that's fine too. Um, Q-tip and alcohol, same idea. Uh, the other thing I like to use, if it's like really, really bad, is Brasso. Brasso. It is a, uh, or Braso, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a metal polish for polishing brass, as in those uh, pins. Whoa, that was way too much. I should probably clean that up. Well, it's a good thing I'm wearing jeans, right? There we go. Uh, just a little bit will do it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be so liquidy. It's more of a gloppy material here. And this is a pin, pin polisher. Now, I'm thinking I might be able to use Brasso with the 1-Up card, but I haven't tried it yet. I'm a little afraid to. Um, you know what I want to do here. The stuff is, this stuff gets like in there and stuff too though, so. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I wanted to show you. Nah, I'm, I'm going to leave that aside here. I have some games that are already open. Let me find a dirty one. That one's good. This one's great. All right. Here's what I'm talking about. A little bit of that. This is just rubbing alcohol on Q-tip. All right. A little on this side too. I have also known people to do the um, use like a pencil eraser, like that, and rub off of the dirt. It works. I don't know about the long-term effects though. So. Use that at your own discretion. So, there you go. Pretty dirty, right? Pretty dirty. You'd figure that would have got all the stuff off. Let me go back to the brass out here. Let me see, show you what I'm talking about here. I'll grab a new Q-tip for this. Oh, other side. There we go. Come on. There we go. Is Laura inside? Uh, Laura's not inside. She's outside with you, I thought. <laughs> the girls are playing outside in the snow. So, same side, and look, there's already so much more dirt. Because it's taking that polish right off. Not polish, it's polishing it. It's taking the dirt off of the... Yeah, you know what I mean. As you can see, I have no script and no prep for this video. I was like, oh, i got to clean this anyway. Phone ringing, so... There you go. Any rock? Probably not. Yes? No? No? Oh well. A few ways to clean carts. One of card. I highly recommend these, and they do come in more of that. I'm gonna answer the phone. See ya.